With more couples struggling to conceive, the IVF industry is growing every year. And now a locally developed screening test is promising to boost the success rates of a healthy pregnancy. At two and a half, Remy has no idea just how special he is. It's tough. But we got there. Alyssa's low egg count made it impossible for the couple to conceive naturally. It just has to be one. And I think, I think I got it zero once. Today, the McMickings have two children, but it took three failed rounds of IVF and a miscarriage to get there. You wish for and you're hoping desperately and then within an instant you find out that it didn't work and you know your heart sinks again. Advances in technology mean that emotional roller coaster could become a thing of the past. A small Adelaide company has created a lab screening test to determine if an embryo has the right number of chromosomes before it's selected for pregnancy, improving the chances of success. A small number of cells are taken from the embryo, they're broken open and the number of chromosomes are then compared with healthy cells. The results are astounding. A 50% increase in IVF success rate, even in young patients, by doing this testing. It is more simple than others on the market. The test is more than 90% accurate and results can be made available in less than 24 hours. It's pushing technology to its absolute boundaries. The Australian IVF industry continues to grow by 10% each year. In our under 38 population, um, the success rate per cycle with embryo transfer is uh, pretty much 50%. But clinicians are warning women not to rely on it. IVF is not a safety net for age-related infertility. If you want a family and it can't happen naturally, then don't give, it, don't give up. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.